C++, a statically typed compiled programming language famous for its widespread use in software infrastructure and infamous for its steep learning curve. It was created in 1979 by Bjorn Straustrup at AT&T Bell Labs. He was inspired by the object-oriented nature of Simula, but needed a language with a high performance of C, and thus, C with classes was born. It's designed as a superset of C, which means that virtually any C program is also a valid C++ program, but it also adds zero overhead abstractions, such as object-oriented patterns like polymorphism, encapsulation, and inheritance. Today, it's used in a wide variety of systems with constrained memory demands, like the Unreal Engine for AAA video games, programs like Adobe After Effects that were used to edit this video, databases like MySQL and MongoDB, embedded systems like the display on your smart toaster, and is used to implement much of our low-level infrastructure like language compilers and virtual machines. It's so popular because it provides low-level memory and hardware control like C, but with high-level abstractions like classes and smart pointers. C++ makes it harder to shoot yourself in the foot, but when you do, it'll blow your whole leg off. To get started, install a C++ compiler like GCC or Clang, then create a file ending in CPP. Include IO stream from the standard library to handle input and output. Your code will start executing from the main function. To print hello world, we simply use standard character output followed by the bitwise shift left operator and a string literal. We can get rid of this STD though by adding a namespace to the top of the file. Now if we want to create a string variable, we can do so by typing it as an array of characters. However, if we include string from the standard library, we can use the string type instead. The real game changer though is the fact that C++ supports object-oriented programming with classes. A class is just a blueprint for an object. Inside a class, you can define attributes and methods that will be private by default, or make them public by adding them under the public specifier. It's also possible to define methods outside the class definition using a double colon. Methods can also be defined multiple times with different parameters, which is known as overloading and is a form of polymorphism. In addition, we can define constructors and destructors to run code when an object is created or destroyed. Classes also support inheritance, allowing developers to more efficiently share logic throughout a program. To instantiate an object, type the class name followed by the name of your object, and optionally any parameters for the constructor. When it comes to memory, we could manage everything manually with pointers and references. However, tools like Unique Pointer can get the job done in a way that's easier and safer by ensuring that only one object can be allocated to memory. Now to run your code, open up the terminal and use a tool like Clang++ to compile it. This has been C++ in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.